Hi everyone. Today I am going to teach you the last topic of the last module, that is the vertical strip anchors. But just I change the name of the topic, that is seismic pullout capacity of vertical strip anchors, because the strip anchors are used to calculate the seismic pullout capacity of that particular anchors. Okay. So in that lecture, we have to see the various type of anchors and all. So first of all, we will start with the introduction about this topic. So the foundation, you know about the foundation. So foundation of many structures are frequently subjected to the vertical pollute or incline outward forces. Okay, that you already studied in the geotechnical engineering. That is, when the foundation of many structures. are like uh, frequently subjected to the vertical pollute or the inclined outward forces okay there are various type of inclined forces so the design of such foundations may be done through the use of tension member so in that case we have to design the foundation that is in more strong so if you design that particular foundation as a more strong you require the tension members so if you require the tension members uh, then these members tries to come out of the ground hence these are sufficiently embedded in the soil okay this tension member are what sufficiently embedded it is sufficiently poured in that particular soil to resist the outward forces what are the outward forces that are resist on that particular structure or we can say that foundation that is uh, we can say when it is poured into that particular ground only then it is resist all type of outward forces are called as ground anchors or earth anchors so such material or such we can say uh, component is called as what ground anchors or earth anchors okay then these anchors are used to transmit a outwardly directed load to the soil at a greater depth and or the further away from the structure okay what happens such type of ground anchors or the earth anchors are used to transmit the outwardly directed load to the soil at a greater depth okay always remember it is act in a greater depth not in a short shorter depth like any of the another method okay and further away from the structure so, and it is maybe we can say transmitted to the further away from that particular structure so what we conclude from this slide what you understand first of all you know there is a different types of foundation again the foundation is depend upon the type of soil again the type of soil is depend upon the properties of the soil there are various type of property engineering property as well as what uh, index properties so you have to determine with the help of that so which type of foundation you have to provided over there so in such type of design foundation you require the tension members if the tension member you have to provide that tension member is sufficiently embedded or sufficiently poured into that soil then and then it can be resist the outward force or we can say load and that phenomenon is called as what ground anchors or earth anchors and these anchors are used to transmit the load directly on the soil or to the we can say near into that particular structure or further away from the structure next is nothing but the type of anchors okay now we have to see the type of anchor there are different type of anchor first is nothing but first is nothing but the the earth anchors placed in the soil can be divided into five basic categories okay there are five basic categories of the earth anchor which are placed in the soil so first is nothing but the plate anchor second is nothing but direct embedment anchor third is helical anchors fourth is grouted anchors and last is nothing but the anchor piles okay so these are the types of anchor that that is used in the construction of the foundation in the tension member okay so again i am going to repeat the type of anchor first is plate second is a direct embedded third is a helical fourth is a grouted and last is nothing but the anchor pipe then this is all about the plate anchors okay so there are three different figure like figure number small a figure number small b and figure number small c if you observe the t like tension like member is present in the all the type of we can say anchor only the present situation of that particular anchor is different okay if you observe the horizontal anchor it is uh, uh, like a vertical and if you observe the vertical anchor it is like a horizontal so this these are the wise uh, we can say so two stages or the different stages opposite stages of the um anchors and the middle one is nothing but the incline anchor that is what your incline line or the incline anchor okay so 
so you have to know about the use of plate anchors so basically these all type of uses of the all anchors are same but uh, we will focus on the plate anchors first of all so the various type of earth anchors are now used to uplift the resistance of transmission towers utility poles aircraft then the mooring system submerged pipelines and tunnels okay also for the tieback resistance of earth retaining structure waterfront structure at bends in the pressure pipelines and when it is necessary to control the thermal stresses that beard pipe anchors or beard anchors have that buried anchors have been used for thousand of years to stabilize the structure okay so anchorage may be continuous or the series of the series of the separate anchor blades or slabs tied to the main wall okay this is the arrangement of that anchors and anchorage may be continuous or in the series of separate anchor plate or slab tied to the main wall these are the uses of the plate anchors now this is the uh, we can say pictorial presentation about the plate anchors for the retaining wall then the sheet pile wall how the plate anchors are used okay in the uh, sheet pile wall just below the ground level or the ground strata you have to use the plate uh, or the dead man anchors okay and uh, that particular line or that horizontal line is called as tie rod or that that is nothing but the cable okay in the foundation for the transmission tower for this this transmission towers are basically useful for the networking and all so in this the steel type structure that is called as helical or the concrete type of anchors are what used okay then the anchor foundation for the suspension bridge okay if the suspension bridge, bridge is there then in the starting point in the starting point of that particular bridge the anchors are or anchorage are used okay so these are the we can say with the help of picture we understand how to use or where it is used exactly such type of anchorings next is nothing but the tunnels and water pipelines where the anchorage are used okay if you observe the in the tunnel also in the midway section the plate anchors is used then the plate anchors are also used in the water pipelines then the plate anchors for waterfront structure and then plate anchors for the soil stability in the foundation okay so these are the different uses about the plate anchors for the various section like tunnel then the water pipeline then the waterfront structure then the soil stability in the foundation so next is nothing but the what is the aim and objective okay so what is the aim and objective about this vertical uh, anchors and all so that is nothing but to find out the seismic pull out factor that seismic pull out factor is denoted by f gamma d okay so then uh, of a vertical strip anchor then to study the failure geometry of the vertical strip anchors under seismic condition if it is fail then what is the reason behind that that you have to find out with respect to the geometry of the vertical strip anchors under the seismic condition okay then the use of cutter's equation you know about the cutter's equation is already used in the mathematics that is 1903 to obtain the uniform pressure on the failure surface under the seismic condition okay then use of pseudostatic and pseudodynamic approach to obtain f gamma d that is nothing but to find out the seismic pull out factor okay so pseudostatic and pseudodynamic approach to obtain the seismic pull out factor and to proper design charts of vertical strip anchor under the seismic condition okay if suppose you have to design this particular proper design charts for the vertical strip anchors or the under seismic condition that then you have to go through that particular method that is aim and objective for the same then the scope of work if you select a such type of anchors to improve the ground whether it is scopeable work or the not that is nothing but the development of the clues from analytical solution for evolution of the seismic pull out capacity of the shallow vertical plate anchors subjected to the horizontal load under the static and seismic conditions using both pseudo static also and pseudo dynamic approach also okay so the scope of work is large then the application of cutter's equation that is 1903 equation to evaluate the soil reaction on the failure surface so this is all about the scope of the work okay so in this way your entire model number 6 is also get covered i hope you everybody enjoying this uh, video session uh, through your uh, moodle accounts okay 
so you have to prepare for your examination in the well manner if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask on the whatsapp or the email